Here are the top five questions that I get asked all the time from new users to monday.com. So let's jump in and get these questions answered for you. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. The first question that I always get is which plan should I be on within monday.com? If you look at monday.com's pricing page, you'll see that there are five different plans that they offer. I think that if you're serious about running your business on monday.com, you shouldn't consider anything besides the pro plan or the enterprise plan. Starting with the pro plan, you have the time tracking column. You get 25,000 automations a month. And what I think is probably one of the most important things is you get charts within dashboards. The reason that I think this is so important is because if you wanna make data-driven decisions, based on the information within Monday, you need to have those dashboards. For example, how many leads came in a month? How many leads from a specific source came in a month? And that's just for CRM. Imagine if you wanna track how many tasks your team is doing, what kind of capacity they're at. All these different dashboards I think are critical in order to use monday.com seriously. Now, if you wanna take it to the enterprise level, you get 250,000 automations per month. In addition to 250,000 integrations per month, you get things like item level permissions, which means that I can only see an item that I'm assigned to on a board. So let's just say you're working with a sales team and you don't want everyone to see everyone else's leads. They'll only see what they're assigned to. You also have stronger permissions for security reasons that you can very specifically assign different user roles, different permissions within monday.com. So in summary, for sure, you need the pro plan or even the enterprise plan. If you need help with deciding which plan you need, drop us a comment below and we're happy to help you out. The second question that I get asked is, how is monday.com different than Excel? Now, I would hope that this is pretty obvious. Excel is a standalone sheet. Maybe you can have different tabs that are connected, but it's a standalone document. And people update it and they download it to the computer and they make changes and then they upload it and different people have it at different times, but you're not doing changes live. That's like one of the biggest difference. On Monday, you see all of the changes live and everyone sees everything in one place. But I feel like I'm even belittling it because it's so much more than that. It's a whole system set up where you can manage your whole business and not always necessarily in the same format as in Excel. You also have tons of automations that you can do. You can get reminders when due dates are arriving. You can automatically assign people to tasks. You can have reoccurring tasks. You can set up a calendar view. Like you have so much, it's such a powerful tool compared to Excel. Excel is a like a table where you can look at numbers, you can look at a table, study it in that way. You can obviously add formulas, but on Monday, you can add formulas, you can add automations, you can integrate with different tools. You can view it in different ways. Like you can view it in a, in a Kanban view. You can do it, view it in a calendar view. You could build dashboards off of it. Yes, you're gonna say, oh, well, I can build dashboards in Excel. That's true. They're pretty complicated to build dashboards in Excel. In Monday, it's super easy. To me, there's no, it's so obvious the difference between monday.com and Excel. One is a standalone sheet that everyone could rewrite over and doesn't have any automations. Monday is a tool that can help you take your business to the next level because everything's in one place. There's transparency. You don't need to worry about overwriting other people's work and you have automations saving you time. The next question that I get asked all the time is how difficult is monday.com to learn? Now, I don't really think it's very difficult. There's a few tricks or best practices that you need to pick up but there is tons and tons of online information where you can learn how it works. Monday.com has great support pages. They have webinars. You can use things like this YouTube channel and other places online where you can find information. There's tons of material out there, but you know what I really think the best thing is? To actually play with it, start using it, and you'll understand how it works. And then if you need help, you can go listen to some webinars, you can go watch some YouTube videos, 
or you can even be in touch with consultants that can help you set up. By the way, it's something we do, so feel free to comment below if you need some help. But really, you can do it yourself. You may not have the time to learn it, so you may need to hire someone to help you, but most people are able to set it up themselves. The next question that I get asked all the time is which product do I need? Now, we'll start with the really easy ones. If you're a development team, you need Monday Dev. If you're looking to manage tickets for agents like service tickets, then you need Monday Service. The biggest question is if you need the CRM or if you need work management. Now, the CRM is for managing leads, contacts, customers, managing the relationship with either potential or current clients and customers. Work management is mostly for managing projects and tasks. So most businesses probably need both of these products because you have incoming customers or current customers that you need to manage. You want workflows for them. You want to be on top of them. You want to understand how many of them convert. But you also have projects that you need to manage, internal projects or maybe projects for your clients and tasks that you have to run your business. So I would say probably a lot of companies actually need the CRM and work management. That being said, if you're not very heavily using the work management piece, you probably could build boards within the CRM to be able to do that. So you, then you have the advantage of the CRM and you can also do task management within that. If you're going to enterprise because you are doing a lot of intense project management, then for sure you need both products. The last question that I always get is about pricing. How much does Monday.com cost? Now, it does depend which product you're actually getting. So different products have different prices. I would recommend you go to monday.com's pricing page to see the exact price per product. I will tell you a few things though. The way that it works in terms of number of seats, because essentially you're paying for a number of seats. The first minimum plan is three seats, then it goes to five, and then it jumps to 10. So it's always in intervals of five. So basically what that would mean is you have five seats or you go to 10 seats. You can't pay for eight seats. It just doesn't work that way. The next thing that you should think about is, do you want to pay annually or monthly? I highly recommend going to an annual plan because you save 18% off the price. So for sure, it's worth it to save that money. In terms of canceling, if you want to cancel when you're on the annual plan, you have 30 days from the time that you sign up to cancel. If you're on the monthly plan, you can cancel throughout a month and then you just won't pay for the next month. So I highly recommend going to the annual plan to save yourself money and to really give monday.com a chance because you'll learn how it can transform your business. I hope that these questions were helpful in getting you started with monday.com. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.